Hi guys, welcome back to my channel today. So today is my first ever stationary haul video. I'm so excited because this is the first video like this I've ever done before. I've never really showcased my products before because they aren't like high quality name brands, but I still thought I should show you guys some of the things I have because maybe you're interested in buying these products as well. Or maybe you are looking for something more affordable and that's within your budget. So all my products that I use are gonna be linked below in the description. So let's get started. The first item of part of the stationery haul today is the Lloydstrom 1917 dotted notebook. This is going to be my new bullet journal starting in July. It comes with a pocket at the back of the journal, 249 numbered pages, table of contents, along with two page markers. I'm excited to start using this notebook and since it's a reputable name that a lot of people use, I'm excited to give it a try. Next is the watercolor dual tip markers by Artist Loft in colors water blue, red, and canary yellow. I've decided to put them to the pen test in the Lointrum 1917 to help me give me an idea of what steps will be needed when I start using this notebook. Plus it gave me an idea what the bleeding and ghosting on was on the pages, which overall did well on the testing, but it was fairly noticeable ghosting on the back of the page. Next is the Tombow ABT dual brush pen, which I got in both blue and black. I love the color blue, so I wanted a variety of shades of blue since a lot of my themes end up using blue. I also got a black because I needed to get a nice black marker for my bojo. It did well in the testing. The blue wasn't as noticeable as the black when it comes to the ghosting, and there wasn't really a problem with bleeding. This is my first time ever buying a Pigma, Pigma Micron. I typically use a Pilot Fileliner, but since I've been looking for a different ballpoint, I decided it was time to check out the Pigma. I got a 0.8 because I was looking for a more thicker th fine liner, and so far I'm happy with the results. It did well on the bleeding and ghosting. I didn't have much of an issue. It gave the same results as my normal fine liner would use on pages, so I'm excited. Next is my Prismacolor Premier Illustration Marker in black in the size 01. Again, I wanted a change up. Some of the stencils I use need a thinner marker to be able to use them, so I chose this, which has helped, has helped when using my stencils. Because it's so thin, I'm able to get little details, even just in my bojo itself. I use it for many different things. For the testing, there isn't much ghosting because it is so thin, which I'm really happy about. Next is the Faber, uh, Faber Castell Pit Artist Marker in gold. I had gotten this for school because I wanted another pop of color to use for my headings in my type journal. It is a, it is a, it is a 1.5 and it works really well. But when it came to the testing, I didn't have an accurate result because the marker is running out since I did get it back in September. Next is my Prismacolor Premier Colored Pencils in a pack of 12. Again, I had gotten this for school because we needed soft pencil crayons for my drawing class and this is what I found at my local art store. I had a little bit of ghosting, but as for bleeding I had no issue, which I'm really happy about because I do like using pencil crayons in my bojo as well, so I'm glad that I can use these and not really have to worry about it 
messing up my pages. Now I have my folk art mini stencils. As I mentioned, I use sta stencils <laughs> occasionally. I like to have these lying around for either a quote page or wanting a cool font that I know I can't render myself. So far, I use my illustration marker and my palette fine liner, fine liner with this stencil. And I have noticed it bleeds easier with the pilot, but I'm trying to figure out different ways. Maybe I'm holding it too hard or pressing down too hard. As for testing, it ranges depending on the product I use, but with the illustration marker, there's a little bit of ghosting, but it's something I can deal with. Lastly are just some products I'll quickly talk about. These are products I don't use too often, but they do appear in my bojo. I have the Recollections washi tapes in globes and like this airmail style. There is a true story paper pad that comes with 180 sheets of paper by 6x6. Six by six. I found these really helpful because I use it for a nice backdrop behind images and sometimes my text depending on how I lay out a page in my bojo. Next is my snowflake stamp set by Recollection and my craft pigment ink pad in blue. I use this for my dis December spread when I first started my bojo. And I wasn't exactly happy with it since it bleeds a lot, but I've kept it just in case if I find another use for them. And lastly is my giant circle template, which I use whenever I need to draw a circle in my bojo, which happens a lot. And I'd rather get a crisp circle than one that looks wonky. I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. Don't forget to hit that like and comment button. Let me know your thoughts on this video and maybe things I can do better or maybe things you want to hear from me. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can see more of my videos, more of my bullet journal videos, plus of some of my vlogs. And yeah, see you around.